Hello and welcome to Hair Shader 2.0. I'm going to talk you through using one of the materials here and it will be the dark brown one. I'm just going to change some of the settings so you get familiar with what you can do. Okay, so first off let me just turn these off. Now, first you'll see some translucency settings and to see this you'll have to point the hair so that you can see the light from the other side and you can play with various things like the strength and I'll lock this normal distortion fall off how much direct light is affecting it any ambient light you can play with the amount of edge and how the shadows affect it's also affected by whichever colours in the base so if there's no colour, there's no effect. And in the tip of the same. Now, with the base colour gloss, the base colour comes round all of the shape. I'm just going to turn this one down, turn it round. So this is your base value. And the gloss is controlled in the alpha channel. And you also have your tip control and the amount of power of the tip color. The tip is also affected by part of the gradient in the green channel. change the alpha level here again the glossiness is stored in the alpha of the base color you can also increase the intensity the reflection with the reflection probe just be sure that your meshes are inside the reflection probe area if you change your directional light or you've changed any sort of environment details like the sky then you will have to go into your reflection probe and toggle it off and on again so that it rebakes the environment so going back to the hair dark again, take away the glossiness, oh, this one, make this dark, take away the gloss, and we can change the bump power, how metallic the material is, position of the highlight, the spread of the highlight, colour of the highlight, and the secondary highlight as well. You can change the colour of the spread, strength, and position. The spread value here changes how the how each band is distorted by the normal map, the green channel particularly. And the exponent, the higher the value of the exponent, the more tight of the highlight. You can also change the position to have two highlights. I like to keep them quite close together. 
There's also a noise value here, which just helps add a little bit more roughness. And depending on your normal map, you can enhance this as well. So if you create your own normal map, you can get even more noise and details. Try to keep the tiling of the base and the normal map to a whole number and it doesn't matter if they are in different numbers it actually helps to break up the monotony so maybe keep one slightly different value so as you can see when we change the color of the directional light it also affects the colors reflected Also the intensity, which can be controlled this way as well as the value itself. So to summarize, you've got the translucency. which is basically affected by the base color and the tip color. You can play with the strength here and all the other values related. Then we get to the base color, which is the main color that comes from the top towards the tip. If there is an amount in the tip, then it will make its way in, but you can reduce this by changing the alpha level, which takes it away. The gloss overall is controlled by the alpha base, tone, uh, base color gloss to give it a more wet look, and metallic as well helps to give it a bit more of a color color breakthrough. You can change the highlight colors. Right, base color, tip color and power. Gloss again. Highlight strength. Exponent and the position and the spread noise. And intensity can be controlled through the reflection probe. And just be sure to toggle it to get a proper up update of any other lighting change, such as the sky. For example, a nighttime scene like this. The directional light might become a bit more of a dark blue tone. And there you have it. So I hope that's gave you a little insight in how to use the Hair Shader 2.0. Any other issues, get in touch and I'll do my best to make new versions of the shader which applies to your project a little bit better. Or any bugs, let me know. Thank you, bye.